How's it traders? In today's video, I'm going to talk to you about the correlation between BTC, the DXY and the S&P 500 and how you can use that correlation to find trades and see which direction the market is going in and especially which direction Bitcoin is going in. So if you're new to the channel, make sure that you smash the like button, subscribe because I am hosting a live stream in the Bybit South Africa Telegram group tonight. If you can't make the live stream, uh, then make sure you subscribe and turn on the bell notification because I will be putting it up on my YouTube channel and I'm going to be doing TA technical analysis and talking about FIB, golden pockets and FIB retracements. So we're going to get quite in depth about that. I use that quite a lot in my trading. So let's look at this correlation between BTC or Bitcoin, the DXY and the S&P 500. There's no denying that right now, BTC is very much correlated with the traditional markets and especially the S&P 500 mini, which is uh, the, the ES. So the ES is, um, as I said, the S&P 500 in a mini futures, which is traded or was originally created by the CME or the Chicago Mercantile Exchange. The S&P 500 is an index of about 500 of the top companies and it's obviously ex traded on exchanges all over the world. What is the DXY? DXY is basically the dollar index. So the stronger the dollar is, the more it pumps, the weaker it is, the more it dumps. And we're going to look at the correlation. So each of these charts are on a 30 minute time frame. And at the moment, you can see BTC had a, a nice pump to the upside there to 20,300 uh, in the early hours in the morning and dumped right down to kind of a support right now. If you look at the ES, it's almost exactly the same. Had a very nice pump to 3781 and we dump right down to support. And I actually think Bitcoin is uh, looking a little bit stronger because right now the ES dumped below this level here and uh, the Bitcoin is actually holding its support at, at the moment and it's actually looking quite strong. So you can see a little bounce happening right now on Bitcoin. Let's look at what's happening with the ES. Okay, not really bouncing too much, but the markets are definitely correlated. Actually, there's a, a small little bounce on this daily support for the ES. And I think that's why we are seeing that bounce. But again, I think Bitcoin is going to start uncoupling with these markets, but there's definitely a correlation at the moment. So let's look at the DXY. While Bitcoin was dumping and the ES was dumping, what was happening with the DXY? Look at that. Had a very, very nice pump, also on a 30 minute time frame. So at the moment, we've gone through and it looks like we're retesting this daily level of the DXY as support. So this could be a fake out, but if it retests as support, goes up and possibly to that weekly level, we can expect BTC to do the opposite and to actually retest this uh, support level and possibly dump down in the same with the the ES. So why is that the case? Why is it that when the traditional markets are dumping that the DXY is pumping? And at this point, it's actually worthwhile mentioning the USDT dominance, which is uh, the cryptocurrency version of the USD. So as you can see here, while Bitcoin was dumping, USDT is actually pumping. And there you can see that little pump here or that little raise here and that little bounce on Bitcoin right there is actually showing up in the USDT dominance. So while Bitcoin is going up, USDT dominance is dropping. Why is that? Why is there this inverse correlation? Here's what the reason is. When people are selling their stocks, when people are selling their crypto, specifically Bitcoin, because it's the largest crypto cryptocurrency at the moment, um, they're selling out of their Bitcoin, they're selling out of the ES into the dollar. And that can, can be explained here. Have a look here. BTC USD. On the left, we have our base currency or our quote um, our base currency. And on the right, we've got our, our quote currency, which is USDT. So if um, you can look at the, the currency on the left or the base currency as your, as your root, and if the price is going up, it means the value of your base currency is going up. So let's just 
brought here. So if it's going up, BTC slash USD, BTC is going up, that means the price is going up. When BTC is going down, that normally means that your quote currency is going up and the value of BTC is going down. So that's why when you see dumps on Bitcoin and on the stock market, that you see rallies on the dollar index and you see rallies on the USDT index. So let's look at a couple of other examples. I want to Go to the time, daily time frame on BTC here. And I've actually marked a section on the, the chart. Um, let, me, let me show you there on the ES. I've marked the 13th of September. So you can see on the 13th of September that the ES started dumping very, very, very heavily. We had a, quite a big move down right from that 4136, that monthly support, all the way down to the weekly. So let's look for the 13th of September on Bitcoin. And lo and behold, what can we see? As the ES was dumping, what was happening to Bitcoin? I didn't even have to go search for it. That's exactly what was happening to Bitcoin. A large move to the downside, all the way from 22,300 right down to 18,400. At the same time, what was happening to the DXY? Let's go to the daily time frame. Here you can see that inverse correlation showing up here. 13th of September, very big pump. Why? Because people were selling their Bitcoin, people were selling their uh, stocks into USDT and that made the dollar stronger. So that's why. The way that you can find trades in this, if I go to a 30 minute time frame and I look at the ES, obviously Bitcoin is now at a quite a critical support level. So my levels are on US, BTC USD. So let me show you what those levels are. Here you can see they at the range value area high, um, previous day value area low, and yeah, very, very much, very important for this level to hold. So if I'm looking for a bounce here to take along, which I incidentally did, uh, you're going to look at the ES and see if there's going to be a bounce. Obviously, if the ES comes and closes below this, or yeah, if a candle closes below this daily level over here and retests it as resistance, I've got my stop loss set uh, at a certain point, I've actually got it uh, below the swing failure pattern and I'll make sure my trade is closed. And at the same time, if the DXY is pumping above this daily level, I'm going to know this is a good place to close my trade and wait for it to pump, find resistance on the DXY and wait for it to dump and find support, possibly on this monthly level, possibly on this FIB golden pocket. So I hope you've, you've learned something from this. If you joined, enjoyed the video, remember to smash the like button, subscribe, and look out for that FIB uh, retracement stream uh, and Golden Pocket stream. It's really going to be helpful. See you soon.